balance. You got to balance out your portfolio, folks. Some properties should be expensive, some should be cheap, some should be high risk, some not so much. Let's talk about why. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I help people invest in the best cash flow markets in the United States. My client today is a man named Matt. Matt is from Frisco, Texas. Now, Matt, I just sent you a video about balancing out your portfolio. And in that video, I presented you with a deal that is a little bit more expensive than most of the other deals that me and you have been working on. Because I believe that a balanced portfolio is incredibly important, right? There's risk in real estate. There's going to be highs and lows. And the riskier your property is, the cheaper your property is, the more up and down, up and down, up and down things are going to go. So I wanted you to balance out this portfolio we've been building. So I sent you some real expensive stuff. But guess what, bro? For every expensive one, you got to get some cheap ones. And I got you the cheapest duplex in the entire city of the market we've been looking at. So let's jump into the numbers on this uber cheap duplex right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Let's pull up the numbers. What you want to do, folks, in real estate is buy the most expensive house you could find. No, no, no that's not right. No, you don't want to do that. Hold on. What you want to do, what you want to do is you want to buy the cheapest house in an area, right? You don't ever want to buy the most expensive house on the street. You don't want to buy the most expensive house on the block. You don't want to buy the most expensive house in the neighborhood, right? You want to buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, right? You do that, your odds of losing money, very small, right? And this one, this is in Elyria, Ohio. It's a duplex. It is the cheapest duplex in the entire city of Elyria, okay? 140 School Street, Elyria, Ohio, 44035, 85 grand. Cheapest duplex in the whole city. There's a lot of margin for error when you buy the cheapest duplex in the entire city, folks. And it's pretty nice. I like Elyria quite a bit in the Cleveland market, about a half hour west of Cleveland. Uh, very nice, solid C-grade tenant base. Okay, We got one long-term tenant in there and another tenant uh, who moved out. Okay, Now... We're obviously going to need to fix up the unit of the tenant who moved out. To be honest with you, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. But uh, units like this, usually my team, we're looking at doing the rental for about 15K. 15K, uh, unless like something insane happens, which I didn't see in those pictures. Uh, 15K will allow us to go in uh, floors, walls. New kitchen cabinetry, Home Depot Lowe's quality stuff, right? Get you something totally rent ready. And then, then we would have another tenant in there paying $750. And the other unit is a 2 2. That one would be a 2 1. The other unit's a 2 2. That market rent is 800 Now, the current tenant, long time tenant, they're paying $600. we are not going to kick them out, though, because that would be insane. You don't want to kick out your tenant because you want rent coming in, right? Rent needs to come in, okay? Here's a little, little tipster for y'all. All right, just like I told you, you buy the cheapest house in the neighborhood, you're probably going to win. Well, here's another thing. You collect money, right? If you try to put money in your pocket as opposed to taking it out of your pocket and throwing it away, you will probably do better in this business, right? So when somebody is giving you $600, collect it until they don't, right? Here's the deal. This is multifamily investing, C-grade stuff. You're going to deal with turnovers. Turnovers happen. It's part of the business. You're never going to be able to be a long-term investor and not deal with turnovers. It sucks, but it's part of the game, right? So don't create an artificial turnover. Slowly work that tenant's rent up. 600 is better than no 100. 600 is better than a 15K bill to renovate their unit. Because, again, I went through both those pictures, like both units in those pictures, and neither unit really looked all that great, right? So 
you would have to fucking refresh that unit as well, right? So you don't want to do that, okay? With that said, cheapest duplex in the city, I recommend you pay 85. 85, 15K in reno, 100K all in. Then you'd be having long-term 1550 a month in rent, which is a projection of 18600 a year. But, folks, you don't get to keep all that. There's expenses, fixed variable expense estimates on the chart. What you should really be thinking you're going to clear is around 93 of your 100 k investment. Only 36 comes out of your pocket. The rest is all a loan. And you'd be looking at a long-term investment of a 17% return on your money, right? Solid neighborhood. I like Elyria. We got a ton of properties out there. I think this one is a good deal. Obviously, it's the cheapest friggin' duplex in the city. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.